Ave Maria, welcome again to Cato Finoy Franciscan Vesper and here I am your, com your, uh, your host and your companion in this Franciscan Vesper, Father Johannes Jeremy Maria Salise of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate. Now we will pray the evening prayer one of, cor of Corpus Christi, body and blood of Christ. So if you have your bravery like this or digital, uh, let us start with the invocation of St. Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart from many wordless, evil, distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Pange lingua gloriosi, corporis mysterium, Sanguinisque preziosi, quem in mundi preziosum, fructus ventris generosi, rex se fudit gentium. Nobis datus, nobis natus, ex intacta virgine. Et in mundo conversatus, spaso verbi semine. Sui moras in colatus, miro clausit ordine. In supreme nocte cene, recumbens cum fratribus. Observata lege plene, cibis in legalibus, cibum tu beduodene, sedat suis manibus. Verbum caro panem verum, verbo carnem efficii, Fitque sanguis Christi merum, et si sensus defici, ad firmandum cor sincerum, sola fide sufici. Tantum ergo sacramentum, venere mocernui, Et anticum documentum, no voce da tritui, prestet fide supplementum, sensum defectui. Genitori, genitoque, laus et jubilatio. Salus honor virtus quoque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abutroque, comparsit laudatio. Amen. For Santipon, the Lord is compassionate, he gives food to those who fear him as a remembrance of his great deeds. From Psalm 111 I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who love them. Majestic and glorious his work. His justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. He gives food to those who fear Him, keeps His covenant ever in mind. He has shown His might to His people by giving them the lands of the nations. His works are justice and truth. 
His precepts are all of them sure, standing firm forever and ever. They are made in uprightness and truth. He has sent deliverance to His people and established His covenant forever. Holy His name to be feared. To fear the Lord is the first stage of wisdom. All who do so prove themselves wise. His praise shall last forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. First Antiphon, the Lord is compassionate. He gives food to those who fear Him, as a remembrance of His great deeds. Second Antiphon, the Lord brings peace to His church, and fills us with the finest wheat. From Psalm 147, verse 12 to 20. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem, Zion praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antiphon The Lord brings peace to His church and fills us with the finest wheat. Third Antiphon Truly I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread, tr true bread from heaven. Alleluia. Canticle is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 17 to 18, chapter 12, verse 10b to 12a. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death, so rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Antiphon Truly I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. Alleluia. Reading is, uh, reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 16 to 17. Is not the cup of blessing we bless a sharing in the blood of Christ? And is not the bread we break a sharing in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, many though we are, are one body, for we, are, for we all partake. Of the one loaf. Responsory, he gave them bread from heaven, alleluia, alleluia. Response, he gave them bread from heaven, alleluia, alleluia. Man has eaten the bread of angels. Response, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Response, he gave them bread from heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. Canticle of Mary. 
How kind and gentle you are, O Lord! You showed your goodness to your sons by giving them bread from heaven. You filled the hungry with good things, and the rich and the rich you sent away empty. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary, how kind and gentle you are, O Lord! You showed your goodness to your sons by giving them bread from heaven. You filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you sent away empty. Intercessions Christ invites all to the supper in which he gives his body and blood for the life of the world. Let us ask him response. Christ the bread of heaven, grant us everlasting life. Christ, Son of the living God, you commanded that this thanksgiving meal be done in memory of you. Response. Enrich your church through the faithful celebration of these mysteries. Christ, eternal priest of the Most High, you have commanded your priests to offer your sacraments. Response. May they help them to exemplify in their, life, in their lives the meaning of the sacred mysteries which they celebrate. Christ, bread from heaven, you form one body out of all who partake of the one bread. Response. Refresh all who believe in you with harmony and grace and peace, harmony and peace. Christ, through your bread, you offer the remedy for immortality and the pledge of future resurrection. Response, restore health to the sick and living hope to sinners. Christ, our King who is to come, you commanded that the mysteries which proclaim your death be celebrated until you return. Response, grant that all who die in you may share in your resurrection. So, brothers and sisters, let us include in our Franciscan Vesper today in this uh, evening prayer one of Corpus Christi. And also today is the feast of St. Anthony of Padua for us Franciscan. And uh, let us include our family, relatives, friends, and loved ones. And also, let us not forget our frontliners and our brothers and sisters affected by this coronavirus. And let us pray for the end of this uh, pandemic. Now, let us pause a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. 
our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So, thank you very much. And again, remember and don't forget, smile, be happy. Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria.